Hey y'all, welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm about to head to Target, so it's a fabulous day. I have not been to Target in months. It has been such a long time. And the weather is pretty today. Finally, we've had the worst winter weather. It's just been cold and rainy and awful. And tomorrow it's supposed to be rainy again. I don't think it's cold, but it's supposed to be rainy again. So I thought I'd just take advantage of today and go to Target. So I am gonna um, do that. I'm waiting on my mom. So we're gonna go and just have a fun little day. And I thought I'd share what I got when I get back. So I'll be sure and do that. Yesterday I worked on my living room and I filmed I filmed it and I was gonna do a whole vlog about it and then how I was gonna decorate for Easter. But I'm not gonna decorate for spring and Easter until the weather gets a little bit better. I know the time is right and I, I had planned on already having everything done at this point, but I just, I don't, spring is my absolute favorite. I have said that before and I don't want to decorate for spring when it's like winter outside. So I'm trying to wait just a little bit longer, but um, I wanted to get the living room and I talked about this, I think in the, in the video, I can't remember, but um, I wanted to get the living room. I had to rearrange it and I've explained that in the video, but I wanted to go ahead and get the living room arranged um, so that when it is finally weather-wise time to decorate for spring, it'll all be placed and it'll be ready to go. So I'll, um, I'm going to insert the vlog clips for that at the very end of this. Again, my original plan was for that to be a whole separate video, but the weather is just not cooperating. So I don't want to wait any longer uh, to try and get that footage, you know, pieced in. So, so I'll just make this half of a Target trip and haul and then, um, you know, some living room rearranging. So it'll just kind of be a um, smorgasbord of a vlog this time. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Target, hopefully find a lot, and then I'll be back and I'll share it with y'all. Okay, so it's the afternoon. I'm back, obviously. I've been to Target. Y'all can't see all of it. Y'all can see a little bit, but not all of it. But I have a ton of Target bags to share with y'all. Um, they had so many good finds. I was good and I resisted a lot, but I did end up with a couple of fun things. So let me share what I got. So the first thing that I'm really pleased with, I thought it was 20. It was on a display by itself like with some other pillows and they only had one or I would have gotten another one. And it said 20 and I thought, well, I love the print so much that I'm gonna go ahead and get it. But then when I rang it up, it was only 10. So it's this pillow um, by, the, by the Spritz brand. I think that's like their party and celebration uh, brand, um, which I didn't know they had home decor, but I just thought this was so pretty and so springy. I wish they had had two. I may look it up online and see if I can find it. I'll try and link anything that I can find um, down below. My, my tripod, I've got to get another tripod. So if, if I'm like slowly, I think it's like slowly going to the side. I hope it's not, but bear with me y'all. And this is all gonna be completely random because I did self check out and I, just bagged everything with no rhyme or reason. I picked up a pair of these shoes because I like to just slip these on and go. Um, they're the Shade and Shore line. I think they're 10. Yeah. Um, I had a pair last year. I had two pair actually last year and I loved those. And then I wanted a new notebook. Um, I like to have just one notebook where I write down all of my ideas and I don't have a new one. And I just loved this color. I thought this was such a unique, like Kelly green color. I don't love the gold, but I love the color enough to just kind of make do with the gold writing. And then of course, what is a Target trip without a book? So I picked up this one, which is Lease on Love. I've heard really good things about it. It's a rom-com. Haven't been having the best luck with rom-coms, but um, I'm excited about this one. And the cover is so springy. So it fit in with my theme. Then about another pillow, which is not as bad as it sounds because normally I like have a whole buggy full of pillows. It seems like I just have a pillow obsession. But this one was so pretty, I thought. I just absolutely loved this much, even though it is neutral. I normally don't go for neutrals. I love bright colors and, and all the pastels for spring, but even though that was a neutral, I gravitated toward it. And then, I'm all about spring, but I saw this for summer and I just had to have it. I loved this beach towel. I thought it was so pretty. I don't know how pretty it's going to appear on camera, but, um, or on the screen, but it's the prettiest pink and just this, I just love the stripes. So I just had to pick that up. Normally I wouldn't pick up a beach towel this early, 
but I loved that. Then I picked up these that are complete dupe for uh, vans. They look identical. Is that not insane? They're just basic white. Um, I don't know if they had any other colors. I doubt it or I would have gotten it, but I, I don't think they did. Um, but I had been wanting just a pair of, um, of just plain white shoes like these, kind of like Keds, if y'all remember Keds from back in the day. Um, but these, I just can't get over how much they look like vans. So I hope they're comfy, but they were only $14.99. So I thought that was a good find. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked up at Target was mugs. So truth be told, the whole reason I wanted to go to Target was because I saw this mug on someone's Instagram or Instagram story or TikTok somewhere I saw it and it was just the prettiest mug and I just had to have it so here it is is that not just so pretty I just love I hope it's showing up on camera as pretty as it is here um and then it has the little writing right there I just think this is so cute I was just tickled pink with my new mug I don't know what it is about a coffee mug I love coffee mugs coffee mugs and pillows then I was good. I limited myself to two. Aren't y'all proud? I picked up this one, which was on clearance, so it was only $3.50. How cute is that? It's got all these pictures of the dogs. How cute. And then on the inside, it says dog person. I just thought that was really cute. It's got pretty colors in it, too. So, I was very happy with my mug selection with this Target trip. Okay, and then I wanted to run into TJ Maxx when we were finished at Target because I needed... A basket to put at my window in my little library I wanted like a wicker basket and I so I could drape a throw on it and put a pillow in it so I ran into TJ Maxx and they had a really good selection I had found one at Target but it was 59 I think that was just way too much I did not want to pay $59 for a basket so I just uh, took a chance that uh, TJ Maxx would have something and I was so surprised and pleased with their selection and this was actually the medium size one they had one that was bigger and I thought about getting it it was 39 this one was 29 but I think that the medium size one will be good for what I have in mind and for the area that I'm looking at and then I wanted a new throw to go with it so I picked up this one isn't that so cute it's got these little flowers um, I thought this was so pretty. The brand is Rachel Zoe. Um, I just I loved this. They had another one that I liked the print better, but it was more of a fleecy material and I didn't love that for spring. So I went with this one. I hope it goes okay with my rug. I worry that it's going to clash, but I like them both. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes things don't go with each other, but I like it both. So I just try and make it work in my mind. So I think that might be might be like this because I just love this and I love my rug in that space. Hopefully both of them will work together. Um, I need to find some sort of pillow. I thought about getting one there and then I thought, no, I've got some at home. I'll try and find one there. Surely I can. So I need to find some sort of pillow. But um, I was really pleased with my find from TJ Maxx. Normally when I have something in my mind, it takes like two or three different stores to find it but I, I lucked out and I found it right off the bat so I was really pleased. Okay so that was my quick little haul. It was just the best little trip that my mom and I had today so I'm so glad that I got to share my haul with y'all. So now I'm going to insert the footage from yesterday when I was rearranging the living room. Um, like I said I didn't film anything like before I started on the living room um, so I just jumped right into talking about that so it's a little kind of choppy. Just look, look past that. Um, but I did want to show how I was doing my living room. So let's go ahead and jump right into yesterday. We're going to jump back to yesterday and let's rearrange the living room. Okay, so here's what the room looks like now. That TV normally isn't there, of course, but I brought it down from upstairs last night because I knew that I wanted to get started on this space. So the sectional is here. That's where I like it. But I didn't anticipate the issue of the sun coming in, comes in about 6.30 in the mornings. Normally when I taught, I was already gone at that time. So I could sit here and not be affected, but the sun streams in in the morning. So I need to find a new location for the couch because it's way too bright and you basically just have to turn the other way and it's just not a great setup. So 
I know you can't see it now because it's kind of overcast um, but <laughs> trust me it's an issue so I'm gonna my plan is to put it here in the corner I've had it there before it's not my favorite spot but I like it and I want to be able to sit here in the mornings because now at 6 30 I'm sitting here I'm not on my way to work so I need to get that problem solved so my plan is to do the couch there this little blue couch that's behind the TV right now it will be right here with this table behind it and then my plans for the tv i have this little sideboard piece that i have in my little reading room i'm going to take it out and i'm going to hopefully it will work i mean i've had it here before but i'm hoping with the arrangement it's going to go right here and so since i have taken the sideboard from the reading room i'm going to put this piece that I've got right here, it's in the laundry room, but I've just brought it over from my mom's. It normally is not in here. So I'm gonna take it here and I'm gonna put it here to replace this one. I bought this, I hope I'm not making y'all sick. I bought this at an auction probably six years ago. It was my first time going to an auction. It was my first time bidding on a piece and I won it and I love it. My plan, is to change the color. I like the green, but I'm just kind of tired of it. And it's got this distressed stuff on it that I don't love. So I bought some paint and that's gonna be another project. So I've got lots of moving pieces, but I think all of that will work, or at least I hope it does. So let's go ahead and get started rearranging this whole space. Like I said before, I'm not gonna decorate for spring just yet. I just wanna get everything placed so that it will make decorating a little bit easier. Remember when you said we'd stay together now until forever. Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others. Fight and hurt each other. Not us, not us. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down, down, down. Not us, not us 